Hey there fellow game developers. Ever fired up Godot Engine only to be greeted by the dreaded unable to initialize Vulcan driver error? Well, fear not, because you've landed in the right spot. In today's video, we're diving headfirst into troubleshooting this pesky issue, so you can get back to coding and creating without any hindrances. Stick around, and let's banish that error together. Alright, now that you've downloaded Godot Engine, let's breeze through the setup to ensure a smooth launch. Step 1. Create a new folder and name it Godot. Once folder created, unzip the Godot engine files, then copy all the unzipped Godot engine files into that folder. Step 2. Now let's open the command prompt. In the top of the folder in File Explorer, click the address bar then type cmd and press enter. This opens the command prompt with the path set to your Godot folder. Now here comes the magic command. Type this command into the command prompt and hit enter. Ensure that the version you type in the CMD matches the one you downloaded. And there you have it. Godot Engine should now launch without a hitch. Enjoy coding and creating in Godot on your Windows machine. If you run into any issues, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Happy coding! And may your game development journey be error-free.